Hi, I'm Jane Esselstyn. I'm Anne. And we have a great summer favorite right now. We're going to do a fro uh, dressing, a uh, frosting, not a dressing, that is actually so refreshing. But I, it is our go-to favorite dessert for guests. Yes. This, this uh, we call it lime mousse, and it is amazing. But as frosting, and it, it actually like, in this in the cookbook here, it's called lime frosting. Um, and it's on page 255 if you are following. And the reason I call it frosting is because we put it on a cupcake. Um, you can put it on your, on, you know, your kale cake and other things you might be making that need some lime <coughs> frosting. And the way that I make it a little bit thicker so it's spreadable like frosting is how I'm going to, sh we're going to show it first. But just ignore this little technique if you just want to go straight to making it a more of a mousse like my mom likes to make it. Okay. So... The key, key, key to all of this is to get a light, silken, firm tofu. Silken is the key word. And silken. Well, firm too, because yeah. if you get silken smooth, you're going to have this. Silken soft. Soft. You're going to have this runny, yogurty, liquidy. You're going to go, oh, I didn't get the right thing. So, this light, silken, firm is the key to making it be frosting or mousse. Now, Jane, let me just t say one thing. And that is, years ago, when I first learned about this, I saw Mary McDougall open a box of light silken tofu. And of course, I'm not so good at reading directions. So, or noticing dotted lines on the yeah. top. So, <laughs> you take scissors and you cut here. On the dotted Whoop. line. It fell oh, into the oh. scissors. Mm. And you take the scissors and cut here. And then you pull it up, and you cut here, and then you have your little open box. And at this point, you would pour out, there is some liquid in here, just a little, not much. You pour it out, and then put your, I'll, I'll do that. No, no you know, okay, yeah, great. Thank you. But what I, what I want to show you is that what I do with the tofu at this stage, when it's in the box, don't take it out, no, no, I want to, I'll let you on the, on the Take this, take this out and let it plop right onto a cloth napkin and if it cracks on top, it doesn't matter, just there, plop it on here and then you wrap, see it's um, kind of, I don't even know what to describe the texture, it's very tofu texture and you wrap this. It has this. no taste at all right now, it, it's awful, just it, it, it takes on whatever flavor you give it. So you wrap this up like this and I actually wrap it in about three or four dish towels and that way it pulls all of the moisture out of the tofu and you leave it in your fridge for about at least I'd say I like to do it like six to eight hours or overnight if I can remember to do it if I'm gonna make it the next day so you could one, just press it too if you have press it it kind of gets destroyed so after so flash forward boom this has been in the fridge overnight and here we have it um, it's all moist and the, the towels are all wet but when you ro unroll it, if you recall the texture of, oh, look at what a treasure it is. If you remember the texture of it, it was really moist. Look at it now. It's like almost like the texture of, this reminds me almost of like Philadelphia cream cheese or something thick. And I made two of these now just because we have some people here today who I want to feed this frosting pudding uh, but, mousse. But, but the point for me is that I'm trying to, I will try to serve this. If I were to serve that, I could maybe serve three people. The way I do it with more moisture, I can serve six people. Okay, uh, we um, have to do another. As a pudding. Okay, here we go. And I'm gonna add, since we're doubling the recipe, I have to double the maple syrup, and it is third a cup. And then we have to do lime zest and lime mousse. Uh, this is just dripping everywhere. And I'm zesting the lime. It's so much fun to let zest. And the zest makes this whole thing feel alive. It's like you're eating this, this, this burst of sunshine. It's so delicious. Here, you and start doing the. We can keep zesting. No, but you, oh, you, you the put the lime in. You're a machine. Okay. And then yeah, I've got so much spoiled fruit in my refrigerator. Love yeah. it. And it's a mini arm workout, kind of nice. And then the juice of a lime. 
And we're gonna do two because we have two, um, we're doubling the recipe here. Ah! That is a hard little lime. And you can roll your limes first if you want and to. You can put, and put them in the microwave for a few seconds. So I've that. never done that. You do that? Yeah, sometimes when they're hard Hot like this. Is that, did you zest all that? Yeah. Most that, that was not a good zesting job for you. You usually get blood from a stone. Zest from a stone. Okay. And once <coughs> the uh, once the once all the juice is in there, you are free to zip away. At I this. usually measure so I can get about three tablespoons of lime juice. Per You want to get more from there? I squeezed hard. Are you getting blood from the stone? If you have a Vitamix or a high speed blender, that would work. We love our, our freezing arts here too. <laughs> okay, and then there you have it. So we have these beautiful wine glasses today in which we're gonna give um, flavor to her. So uh, you have to pretend this is One maybe is Anne and one is Jane. <laughs> and <laughs> I would start in the bottom with some raspberries. And then I will put in, there you go. Oh, you're making yours like a parfait. Yeah. I just wanna taste this first. Actually, I'm just gonna. It's so good. It's so good. And then I will put more raspberries, or you could put mango. Um, and actually, you could do another little. You're putting. I'm going to put another little tiny I bit in here. I'm going to put fruit on top. Well, I put fruit all over, all through it. You get fruit and fruit and more fruit. Oh, okay, mango, blackberry, blueberry. But I just want. I just want to have a quick bite. Right now, a little bit of Jane, mint. Jane, you're not making it look pretty. I mean, sorry. Well, <laughs> want, some, want some mint on yours? The coolest thing. No, no, no. That's not how you do it. Okay, I'm breaking all so, the rules. So you take the mint, and the very top of the little mint, there's this wonderful little thing, like little bunch, and that goes right in the center, and then you can clean it up a little bit. But anyway, it is. Fabulously delicious, and it, it, it this makes the best frosting Here. because this is really thick. Yeah, this is thick. Her, the mousse is way creamier. And the mousse would be much, you know, runnier, and it would go farther. Cheers! So go have a cool summer day and enjoy your mint frost. frosting and mint mousse mousse mint mousse. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> no, no, not mint lime lime. lime. Lime moves. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>